Hello. I was fucking incredibly stupid to forgot to uh, turn on sound in my previous recording. So I need to I need to to re-record this. Fuck. <laughs> Okay, my name is Yulia and I'm 17 years old uh, and uh, what I'm doing in this channel is try to learn English and increase my speaking um, and like all this stuff. So, what I'm gonna do is uh, try to say in English what I've learned today in school or maybe another interesting facts or Mm, but another, it was, it will be educational stuff, uh, mostly because because it's easier like that to not to try to think of your own content, but just concentrate on uh, on the content that you already know. So, uh, actually, do you want to know? Where did I get this uh, cute, nice red ribbon from? Uh, in Russia, we're given this to all uh, to all people who are on the duty. Mm, like every week, uh, they make. They set they set up a class who will be watch over this discipline for the little ones who try to make a fight or run or uh, like uh, go into the building without a second pair of shoes uh, and stuff like that. So I get this because I'm. 11 class and uh, we have our own posts around the school and uh, we watch out like a like a police actually okay uh, so what I'm going to, to talk about today is uh, my literature classes uh, and this is literature of 20, yes, 20th century. Uh, I have this little conflict here. Uh, so, today's topic will be futurism and especially Russian futurism. I need to say that uh, originally uh, futurism came by was created in Italy in 1920s uh, when they published their manifest of futurists uh, and uh, it was it was very different from Russian style and they ha they were like more aggressive and uh, in some way, they propagated uh, war and um, fascism, maybe. Because, uh, if I remember right, uh, they had fascism in Italy in the 30s, so uh, this style was close to like government. Uh, And it, it kind of satis satisfied the government. For example, I can say uh, some quotes which was in uh, their manifesto. They, they told uh, all that uh, we was given by classical literature was dream and um, like. Passiveness, passive. And what we're going to offer for today is 
aggressive movement, movements, uh, rage, um, slaps and kicks in the face. And they also said that um, war is a natural hygiene of the world. So it is not so contrary, contra, contrary, contrary uh, with fascism. So I guess that's where it came from. What uh, what about Russian uh, futurist? All the um, almost everything that they took from uh, their ancestors. Well. Not, the, not so ancestors, but the, from the original futurism was the name, uh, and uh, well, they mostly they were all influenced by a revolution, which that, as you remember, uh, have happened in. 1917, the Great Revolution uh, of fucking commies. No, <laughs> but uh, you remember from your uh, history lessons about uh, Lenin, Stalin, and all this stuff. So uh, when the revolution happened, uh, the futurism kind of went down more and more and they were not uh, that bright anymore. So a couple of names, uh, so you can google after it, what the fuck is futurism, uh, is Russian futurism is are names are Burluk, Hlebnikov, uh, also Mayakovsky and Kruchanek. So all they uh, wanted to shock public. It was kind of shocking and provocative movement in literature at all and for example, uh, the first uh, book of poems was uh, was published on the back side of wallpapers. Isn't it cool, yeah? And uh, mostly they was artist and uh, they was they were artists too and um, with poems did pictures 